for the sign of Leo, hello and welcome to my channel. So Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the Ace of Pentacles and it's with the King of Cups. Now, this Ace of Pentacles, with this card, you could, you could have found yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these would have been very positive new beginnings. So you could have started to feel optimistic, really upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things would have been going really well when you get the Ace of Pentacles in a reading. So you could have also been starting something new. This could have been in the area of work or it could have been personally. But either way, it's a really, really good thing when you get the Ace of Pentacles. Now, it's with the King of Cups, which speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy, which holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, the King of Cups can represent or indicate an actual man or a person in your life. Person in your life, yeah. So usually when it's representing a live person, it's referring to a very kind, loving man or a person. This person would have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups in a reading. It's all about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get the King of Cups in a reading. So, allow your person to nurture you and nurture yourself whenever you see the King of Cups in a reading. Yeah, Leo, whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. It's all, it's all about love, kindness, com compassion. Yeah, so what I'm getting here, Ace of Pentacles, Clarified by the King of Cups for you and your person's recent past energy is that um, you could have reached out to your person with a lot of love, or your person reached out to you with a lot of love, wanting wanting a new fresh start, or someone came, or someone came new, someone new came towards you, um, wanting to get something started with you. Yeah, and it looks like it, it created um, a new beginning in your life. You could have felt like you had a fresh new start. And this connection took off to different levels of new beginnings. Because with the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, you could have found yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. So it was a positive uh, come together with your person. Or like I said, this King of Cups could have been someone new. Yeah, I'm getting that there was a love offer you made towards your person. Or your person made this love offer towards you. And the two of you got a new got a new beginning that took off to different different um different levels. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Fool, and it's with the Two of Swords. Now, the Fool card is actually an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. We all know that children, their trusting and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. So it's actually a positive card in the tarot. Um, yeah, but 
it's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. And as you can see in the picture, he's not. The full card is above the word present. Yeah, he's not looking where he's going. So trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. Yeah, because that's all blue water that's below him. Looks like the Pacific Ocean, maybe. And bam, there he goes. He's ready to take a leap of faith. Now it's with the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords actually tells us that your partnerships, they should be going at least somewhat well. Um, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it just may be time to bring things back into balance. But this definitely requires open communication. So coming up, Leo, for you and your person, the Fool, and it's clarified by the Two of Swords. Mm, yeah, so, like I said, you got a new beginning with someone. I don't know if this was someone new that came towards you, or the person you were already dealing with. Um, they reached out to you, offering you love, or it felt like a loving relationship. Or it could have felt like they had a lot of emotions for you. And it looks like they're coming up, they're still in this. They're, they're ready to continue to jump right on in. Or I'm getting another storyline. Let me just say this. They're ready to continue this, continue to explore it, because the full card can be, also can be about someone that's just ready to take a leap. They can be a risk taker, just going for it. Um, but we got this two of swords here. So for some of you, Leos, you're ready to block this person. You're ready to avoid them, because that's what the two of swords does. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, so you're ready to start avoiding this person. Now, for some of you, it could feel like it's, I'm getting that you could feel like your person is, um, too much of a risk taker, too much of the type of person that that runs off, because the fool card can be about someone that they'll, they'll run off on you. They'll be a risk taker. They could be a traveler. Um, yeah, you could start to feel like they're too much of a risk taker. They just jump on off. They jump off into anything. Yeah, they're too risky. That's what you could be feeling, and you realize that you need to avoid this type of energy. It's, or, you could, or you could start to feel it's too, risk, too risky dealing with this person. Because they're always taking a leap towards something. Or taking a leap towards things that are too risky. Something like that. For some reason, Leo, you're... You're wanting to, or you're deciding to avoid and block them. But you did get a fresh new start with this person. Or you got some type of new beginning with them. Like I said, I don't know if this is someone new. Or someone that you already were dealing with. But anyways, yeah, you're ready to put your two swords up and block them. Just avoid them. Too risky for you. So, let's move on over. Let's see what 
the challenge is going to be. We got the Eight of Swords. And it's with the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Swords. It could be about holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future. Or because you're wary of getting hurt by a situation. Or maybe for no reason at all. So you have to think through what it is that you're afraid of. Because the truth of the, the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Now it's with this page of pinnacles, which can be a card about boredom in some ways. You may be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for, for a little bit of excitement. So you might want to rethink the impulse. Find a better use of your energy. Um, because excitement, it can be created. Now the Page of Pentacles. Is actual, it's actually a great energy to support you. When you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. Because it gives you the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So... Your challenge coming up, Leo, Eight of Swords, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so, your person, um, um, like I said, uh, you could feel they're too much of a risk taker for you. Or it could be something like that. Yeah. With the Page of Pentacles here for your challenge, the card below the word... Um, the Page of Pentacles, the card that's below the word challenge, that's telling me that your person could be younger than you. Because the page, whenever you hear that word in the tarot, that could indicate a student, it could indicate youth, it could indicate immaturity. Or maybe just somebody who's younger than you. Yeah, and you're kind of, I'm getting that you just... They feel that you're holding yourself back. The Eight of Swords, holding holding back. You're kind of stuck in your head about what to do. They see that you've blocked them already. Um, hmm. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you could be feeling that you're... You just, you kind of over this. Yeah. For some reason, you don't like the fact that they're like this fool. And then they could, like I said, they could be on the immature side. Yeah. And they feel you're holding back. Yeah. This Eight of Swords, a card that's above the word challenge. This man has himself caged in with all these swords. There's a hot fire behind him and a huge bull, but this person would rather stand there. Whereas he could easily put one foot in front of the other and run, but no. Yeah, you just rather block this person and just... You're just standing there. You, I'm getting that you're... You're getting... You're not really into this. Like you... Once were. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles is about boredom. So, like I said, your person could be a lot younger than you. Maybe not on your maturity level. That's what I'm getting with the Fool card and the Page of Pentacles showing up here. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Seven of Pentacles. And it's with the world. Now, the Seven of Pentacles... It's often a card about returns on investments. This can be literal, maybe a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you've put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you've sown. So this is very positive. You could be feeling more secure yeah more secure than you have in a while and things will be moving along and 
you should be feeling more hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. Now to the world card, which is actually a card about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So don't quit now because you're so close. You could feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer to who you are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, there is a very good chance that you, you could be working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case. To toot your own horn a little, just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So the outcome, Leo, Seven of Pentacles, and it's clarified by the world. So, yeah, um, Leo, it's looking like your person, they still want to work on this with you. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles, the card above the word outcome. You see how this lady, she's watering a plant. Um, she gets up every morning to take care of it. And before she goes to bed, she takes care of it. Make sure it's not eating anything. Um, she had that plant ever since it was a little, teeny, tiny little baby. She could hold it in the palm of her hand. And now the leaves are rich and healthy and well nourished. The plant is about 10 feet tall now. Yeah, Leah, you got someone that, um, somebody that really, somebody likes you. This person is very interested in you. They want to continue to try to make this work. They want it to grow, but with the world card here, it looks like you you might be ready to close out this close it closes out yeah because the world card the card below the word outcome that's about closing out it's about completion it's about ending a journey so you could be coming up you could be about ready for this to be done I'm getting, for a lot of you, you just feel like this person is not on your maturity level. But yeah, this person, like I said, let me just, my eyes keep going towards the fool. I keep thinking that for some of you, you could feel like it's just too risky dealing with this person. Or they could be the type that, that'll run off on you. They could be a risk taker. Something about risky. That's that's what I keep getting. Something's too risky. Maybe a person is just not on your maturity level. Because there's that page. Yeah. So that's a reading that I have for you, Leo. Leo.